baby daddies and welcome to 12 days of vlogmas shop real rose y'all this dress is from real rose you'll get it just in time for christmas because i ship everything out the day i get the orders okay i don't play that i don't play that i don't play that i'm testing out this speaker that i got for our secret santa it's supposed to be bluetooth wireless and it doesn't sound bad i just want it to be louder i wish it was louder I guess to be bipolar or something, it's pretty good. So I just had a banana, I have some oatmeal, and I fried two eggs. Well, for copyright reasons, you guys know what the deal is. It doesn't sound bad, but I think I'm just used to my speaker. My speaker is loud. But this is like half the size of my speaker. And it's waterproof. Chris is trying to figure out what time we're going to go to the gym. I don't even think I want to go today. I need to put that mentality behind me though. I'm just going to wait for my food to digest and then get out of here. Yeah, I'm going to tell him like four. It's about to be three. Let's shoot for 4.30. They doing a lot at this gym though. Oh my God. So it's 5.30 right now. I'm at the gym. There goes Chris right there. Um, it's cardio day, so I'm only gonna be here for like an hour, hour 30. Unless we're doing arms. Are we doing shoulders? Yeah. Okay, so disregard. But, um, yeah, hour 30 tops. You good? I'm more than good. How come you didn't greet me? Cause you was doing your thing. You can still greet. Yeah, uh, hello. <laughs> What's up? Always up in my shit. What happened? This shit still happened in our parents' generation. Did it? One, because niggas are, this is why people um, they ended up having, you know how they said I have a second family because they felt underappreciated from their wife for supporting them all the time and then they're still going home and getting nagged at so they went and got a second wife so at the end of the day this underappreciated and underappreciated feel has always gone on our generation is different in how we handle it but they put niggas back in the old days just went and got second family. That's so crazy. Niggas are still getting second families. It's harder because now they with social media. What I'm starting to understand is that men do need that gratification. They will tell you they don't want it. They will act like they well, don't they want it, but act, they do need it. But you can see, and that's the problem of this is a society thing, is we can't act like we want things or want emotions because how a man's supposed to act, you're just supposed to do it and do that. Communication so did, but that's is the not worst. How, that's not how humans are. We do want gratification. We do want to feel love. And we do want to Human beings be, in yeah, general. That's just how They we need are. that gratification. So the same... But the thing is, it's just like... Sorry. It's like, okay, but what I was trying to explain to him, like, when he opens the door sometimes for me, I just walk through because I expect him to do that. You know, I expect you... I expect any man who's in front of me to open the door. But what we've just come to, come to the conclusion of is that any man that knows that he needs to open the door also wants appreci to be appreciated for opening that door. So even though that's his job, like if you have a job at work and they tell you you need to fi finish... You need to finish all these tasks by the time the day is over, right? And you finish all the tasks by the time the day, the day is over. That's your job. You're getting paid for it. But... You still want that gratification. You still want someone to be like, congratulations, thank you for finishing everything. See, I'm like, not as like human most beings. people. And then for me, my thing is, is if I do, I only want that if I'm do, am I, if I'm healthy. If I'm doing what I need to do, I don't need no gratification because that's my life. But, if but wait, you can't say that now because I thought we've already come to the conclusion that men need gratification. That's what they uh, need. I need, but... My gratification is in other th I get gratification from accomplishing things. I don't get a gratification from someone. Thank you. No? A thank you. You don't need it? But I, I thought I we came to certain, the bottom of it. certain things, but not... And so I'm talking we can't, about no, no, no. It can't, be, it can't be like that. You can't say in certain things because you that fucks it up for everybody because people don't know what certain things you need. No, remember, I'm not like most people. And so that's what I'm saying. It needs to be like a common rule that everybody could abide by in order for it to but be done. See, but now we're, but we're in a generation now where there's like 
four different genders. There's nothing that one people can abide by now anymore. We're all there's just too much difference in America. Difference. There's no one men are like this, women are like this. That no, day is we're talking done. about humans now. Remember? But even that's done. There's type A people. There's type B people. <laughs> there's moody people. No, there's no, people no, no, no. At assholes. the end of the day, humans. Okay, there's gonna be a few stragglers who, what the fuck ever. You gonna give them the gratification if they don't want it? There's cool. insensitive people that are narcissistic, and narcissistic is a disease, and they can't even help. That. Narcissistic isn't is a disease. Is it actually a disease? Yeah. Narcissism. Nar- what I, you know what I mean? You know what the hell I meant? But the point is, it, is it's an it's actual not a disease. disease. It's a disorder. Kind of disor- disorder, disease. Some, either way, it's a mental thing. So that people have people- disorders. But sh- what I'm saying is that it's just like... It, so I'm, it, every, humans are like this. We're going to treat humans like this. And if the people that don't appreciate you giving them the gratification, like you, you say you don't need it, oh well. But you you did what you had to do as a human being. You you, assi- you received... Um, expe- okay, you received expectations and then you gave gratification. Mm. Oh, that needs to be on a shirt. And for doing me and teaching. I don't go into teaching expecting some student like, you're the best teacher I've ever had, or thank you so much, Mr. Donald. You're the best person. But, what but if you, if you get it, it's great. And I've heard of it a few times, it's nice, but I don't go into it expecting that or wanting it. We that. should teach our kids to say that. And if the kid isn't saying that to you, that means he doesn't mean it. I get it. It's nice to have, but I don't go into teaching expecting it or wanting it. I, I go realize into how being important myself. gratification was. I'm thinking about it right now, and it, it is? is very important. It like, is. That's even what though I... you say you don't want it, I feel like you would be a better person if you got it often. You know what I mean? I do. I do get it off. If you got it more often, like if you open the door and I said thank you, I'm saying I'm not saying that I'm gonna be really good that day, <laughs> but I am saying that I'm gonna try to be. Um, I was gonna say gracious to be gratuitous, but gratu- you know, gratu- but I'm well, how do you say gratu- gratu- gratuity or grat- I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed that I'm a person that always says thank you or sorry a lot. Yeah, I don't like saying sorry. See, I'm I'm a but I'm a person that offers gratitude or sorry. I even say sorry for things I shouldn't say sorry for. Yeah, because I'm a I'm a. I think your mom had a strong that was a strong suit for her. Maybe grat like gratitude. Cause I'm, and showing I showing people you care. Yeah, that's. I, I, that's well, no, I think that's per person. I think people have that in them. I think that's where zodiacs come in with gratitude. Because I cannot. It's so hard for me to be like, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hate saying sorry, man. I, I, mean, I, I can say thank I you. Used, I say thank you a lot all the time for shit I, I'm not I that used, I'm not even thankful for. But you know, it used to be <laughs> harder for me to say sorry. It used to be like a day or two later, I'd be like, sorry. Now it means like I, can I don't. Say I can't even wait. I just be like, or, oh, where? I be like, I'm sorry that you got mad for me. Saying. <laughs> or like, you know, like you, you no, know, like when it came with your niggas though, like you used to just like it wasn't no sorry, just like you trying to who? Like, <laughs> mm, so y'all used to fight like that, and y'all wouldn't say sorry to each I other. I mean, like you know how like like it's like you get into a sports argument, then you get a little too serious or get mad or something. <laughs> then you just. Do you, know, you see that video by Haha ha Davis? Probably, I don't know. I see. The one when he was getting real mad, he was playing. He was playing. I'll show you. Uh, I think, yeah, I probably like you know, like you, you boys get mad over, or you get mad in a, a close ass basketball game, you call a foul or something, <laughs> throw the ball at him, <laughs> throw the ball at him, stupid. I didn't know that boys had those issues. I need to go to a few places. I have a few stops to make, but I'm sweating. I was just, I just did my um, stairmaster. I didn't do as much cardio as I could have, but I have so many things to do. It's 7.45 right now. I didn't want to stay here for as long as I did, but we on. We about to make these moves. Let's go to Home Depot because I need to do my inventory. My room looks, my inventory room looks crazy and that needs to get done ASAP. I'm at Dee Dee's again. This is a different Dee Dee's. I wonder if there's a different Burlington I can go to. I haven't seen another one other than the one um, I went to yesterday, but we're going to see what this Dee Dee's has to offer. I'm at Burlington's now. They got these cute guest shoes. I think these are cute. I don't know why they're just plain, but I also saw these shoes. I literally ordered these um, types of shoes, this type of shoe from um, Payless. These are $34.99, but from Payless, I think they were like, I don't know. You guys will see it on the vlog. 2%? Oh no. Let me go see if I can find some gifts for this little boy. Oh, here looking at shoes. <laughs> I need a new straightener, right? And they got these new new straighteners. The slim one is $29.99 and they have 
the regular one. And they have the regular, every time I'm at Berlin, because I'm always breaking shit. And then they got the regular one um, for $24.99. Now, the perks that they have listed on this are way more than the perks that are listed on the skinny one. This is gonna tell us how, how high the temperature goes on the small one. I was like, come on, man, you could at least do that. Or maybe I should get both, try them out, and bring back the one that I don't like. <laughs> I'm gonna do one side of my hair with one and then the other side of my hair with the other. Let me see. That's what I'm gonna do. Because I can't choose. I'm about to do some fucked up shit because all the guys in my life don't follow my YouTube, so they got these little men for men things. Susan Hill aftershave, shaving cream, detox, de detox after you finish um, washing your face, I guess. And then they have a hair and body cleanser. And it smells really good, I can smell it through the package. I'm about to get all of these. I'm gonna give one to my brother. <laughs> I'm gonna send one to my brother. I'm gonna send one to all the guys that I'm talking to. I ain't shit, they got another one right here. This is for beards. This is a beard shampoo and conditioner, so let me think about who's got beards. I ain't shit. Ooh, I'm Santa Claus, y'all. <laughs> I found a lot of good stuff at Burlington's that people are gonna be really happy about. I hope I can get everybody's reaction. Like, that's the only reason I'm buying all this shit. I'm not buying it for you, I'm buying it to see your reaction. I need to see your reaction, bitch. I should, I should tell everybody that I sent a gift, like, before you open it, turn your camera on. And don't be dramatic, don't over, like, you know, how some people, my mom especially. She loves to over dramatize everything. Oh my god, my Dora! My daughter, she bought me something though. Just be normal. Let me see how you guys feel about what I got you type shit. I was reluctant to get my brother a gift <laughs> because I'm still kind of holding resentment towards him from maybe like five years ago or six years ago when he was like, um, oh yeah, I'm getting you a present, your presents in the mail. And until today, I have never gotten a present from him. <laughs> so I'm just like, where is it then? <laughs> and I'm so sad because that was like one of the years that I, ne I had never gotten anything for Christmas. And I was just really sad about it. I think I'm, I'm still holding resentment over that, but <sighs> I got him something. Hopefully he likes it. I'll show you guys in a second. He doesn't watch my vlogs. Most of the, like I said, most of the guys in my life don't watch my vlogs. And I wish I could get my oldest brother something. When he gets out, when they set him free, I'm gonna get him all types of gifts. I'm, gifts. I'm gonna just buy him a whole bunch of gifts. Like, this is for your birthday, this is for Christmas, this is for Thanksgiving, a plate of food. Like, I'm like, you ain't really miss nothing. <laughs> but yeah, I'm about to make a quick little sandwich turkey, cheese, mustard, and mayo, tomato. Whoa, this, this bag of tomatoes was like wet. There's a lot of water in it. And spinach. And I'm gonna put a fried egg on it too, so. My bread is done toasting. When I toast my bread, I only toast it until it's like a little bit toasted. I don't know why I like my bread hot, it's weird. Well, I don't think it's weird, but people have told me like, why are you heating up your bread for a sandwich? Shut up! I do what I want. Or why are you toasting your bread for a sandwich? I make really good sandwiches. Like, you should be able to still see the bread through the mayo, though. I think that's reasonable. Be generous with your meat, too. Like, use a good amount. I use, like, six to seven slices of meat because protein is good for you, and this shit tastes good. For my egg, I heat the oil up, and then I season the oil with salt and pepper. Literally just crack an egg right on top. Let that joan cook. Let me do, do. Cut your tomato. I've never had a sticker on a tomato before. This is different. Flip your egg. When I flip my egg, I literally just turn the heat off. Actually, it was on low, so I'm gonna leave it there. American cheese, craft singles. Throw that right on top. I like tomatoes, I like spinach a lot too, so. But I don't think you should skip this part. These are the best parts. I don't like cooking my egg all the way through. So take your egg, 
put it on top of the cheese so that the cheese melts. Ha ha, ha ha. Yeah, 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 technique. Details, then put your spinach on top of your egg. And then you're gonna stick your tomatoes to the spinach with some mustard. I know a lot of people don't like mustard, but just try it. I like tomatoes, so I put a good amount. <laughs> then, that's your sandwich. And I'm gonna eat this sandwich with some soup. So I'm gonna heat up my soup, and then that'll be my dinner. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna make for my friends for like our dinner. I don't know yet. I only got one more egg. Oh my God. While that's heating up, make sure you put your stuff away. Don't be leaving food sitting out. Luckily, I live in Vegas. There's no bugs. But still, even if it was but I mean, even with no bugs, you still need to put your stuff away. Christmas. I'm a little frustrated because I haven't finished making it. And I don't think I'm gonna have time to. I got my soup and I got my little sandwich. So yesterday I told you guys I was gonna show you what I got from Burlington's, the dresses. And I have on one of them right now, the red one. That's what it looks like. Really cute, huh? Festive. Has like little ruffles on the sleeve. Sorry. <laughs> I apologize. But looks really nice and let's see how much it was I can't remember I told y'all yesterday but $8.99 I'm cleaning up I have to so that I can get my mind right I'm gonna show you guys what this black suede one looks like too let me try it on so here's what the black one looks like it's not bad it's actually kind of cute but it's a little loose on me you see that <laughs> so yeah this one's gonna go back but this one was only $7.99 I got the red one in a large and I got this in an extra large so maybe I'm not an extra large anymore but I got one excess in all my outfits from this haul that I did yesterday and from the Fashion Nova and some of the Fashion Nova stuff was a little bit tight on me so I don't believe necessarily that I'm not a 1X anymore but this is definitely too big on me. <laughs> you guys know I went to Dee Dee's discounts again today. I'm gonna show you guys what I got from there and I went to Burlington So I'm gonna show you guys what I got from there I'm just gonna show you my setup because it's gonna get crazy in a second. I want to listen to music So I'm just gonna go ahead and listen to it and come back with that So here are all the things I have laid out as gifts Friends and family and baby daddies who are always interacting with me and stuff like that That's what all this shit is for so now I'm about to go clean my room. I've already put myself in the mode to go to sleep. So I don't know if I'll pick the camera back up. If I don't, good night. Let me show you my room. See all these fucking clothes everywhere? Look at this. Look at all this. Look at all these clothes right here. Look at, look at, all this gotta go. All these Fashion Nova clothes, everything. It's, it's too much for me, I'm overwhelmed. I don't even sleep in my room anymore. Sometimes I don't even want to be in my room anymore. So I need to go. I need to get rid of so many pieces of clothing because whenever I get new clothes, I get rid of old clothes. And as you guys know, I just got a whole bunch of new clothes. So I need to get rid of a lot of old clothes <sighs> before I get overwhelmed, you know, because I'm already overwhelmed with what I have. So getting more is just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. So I feel like I need to get rid of like double or triple what I got because I have more Fashion Nova coming in. I got African Mall that's trying to send me stuff. And I have another video with um, 
that's company. So I really need to make space right now. Otherwise, when it does come, I'm gonna be like, what the fuck?